Welcome to the incredibly wonderful and small world of polar amphipods as seen through the microscope. You're looking now at Gondogenea antarctica. This small amphipod, less than an inch long, is very abundant down here on algae and other organisms and we use it a lot in the laboratory for many of our experiments. It has short little antennae and lots of limbs and is an incredibly active amphipod. Now not all amphipods are this active as Gondo, our lab rat, is. In previous years we've done some work with P. gracilis shown here, this bright red amphipod, but this is about as exciting as it gets. I've been spending a lot of time with an amphipod called Paradexamine physicata. Paradexamine has lots of spikes and spines all over its body and it uses those spines to help wedge itself in amongst the branches of brown algae and here again as you see red algae. All those fine setae or hairs on its body help keep them trapped or wrapped if you will in the branches of algae and there they sit and comb the water scrape the blades of the red alga as they're doing here for food. There you can see clearly a pair of specialized mouth parts called nathopods that are helping funnel food into the mouth. Now, I'm sorry about the sort of seasickness experience but photographing through the microscope can be a little can be a little trying especially when you have really amphipod, really abundant amphipods and active amphipods like this group of Oridaria. It's called Oridaria bidentata. They can be just swarming brown algae like the Desmarastia anseps that this little guy is walking all over. And here's our friend Gondogenea again saying bye-bye.